Millions of people become victims of identity theft every year. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live tonight downtown with more on this growing problem and what you can do to prevent personal information from getting into the wrong hands. Carlos? You know, dumpsters in alleyways similar to this one attract a lot of thieves as they rummage through your garbage looking for simple things as credit card or bank statements. And they're not only stealing your identity, but also money. A social security number can open many doors, but in the wrong hands, those nine digits can also cause big problems. They'll use it to, of course, gain new credit and uh, basically steal their identity for their credit, use their funds uh, to purchase anything and everything that they were trying to actually get. There are different ways thieves can gain access to your personal information, from dumpster diving to pickpockets and scams that take place over the telephone. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. The popularity of smartphones and social media is giving thieves a new avenue to steal. There's a lot of great things about the internet, but then there's some, some spooky things that go along with it. Senator Andy Vidak is visiting retirement homes helping educate seniors who oftentimes become a target for thieves. It's all on computer and, and things have changed. So, yeah, that, that makes the elderly a big target. Because they just weren't there for the for the upstart of all this. The total financial loss attributed to identity theft in 2010 was 13.2 billion dollars. Last year it was 21 billion, with only seven percent of U.S. households reporting some type of identity fraud. You'd be surprised how many people throw away their social security cards, <laughs> and it's that's where it is. And other electronic ways, whether it's through viruses. If you become a victim of identity theft, investigators say file a police report, place a fraud alert on your credit reports, close all accounts compromised, and think about getting a shredder to properly destroy your personal statements. I always tell people use the cross cut because it actually is a lot harder to glue them in. Because I have had cases where people actually glue together statements in order to get identity. Now, according to some study, it takes about 330 hours and more than $2,000 for identity theft victims to clear their name and get back on track. Live at 11, Carlos Correa, 23ABC.